Hey guys, we're back. It's Pete and Amy. Hi. And we're going to continue with Makoto's story here. You know what, Peter? What? Let's just finish this game. Okay. What? Hey, look. A yeah. Password. Um, th you can collect, uh, like we picked up before, cell phone keys. I've never collected all of them, but you can find passwords around the game. And if you collect all of the keys, you can type in passwords at the main screen. So... And that's one of them. That's one of them. Yeah. Hey, look, a toilet. Look at that toilet, Peter. Good. T Good. What? Ah! Ah! God. Ah. Uh. This this woman really likes toilets. Um She's a hell of a bathroom ghost. Oh. Ew. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Oh god. <laughs> god, that's the fucking creepiest goddamn one. Oh, God, I knew it was coming, and I'm still scared. Oh, that is the creepiest one. God, what did you see her? She's a huge, like, bathroom pervert. God. Just straight up. All right, so the flash drive, yes, that's just... Shove his ass on in there. Oh. What's the password? I know what the password is. Is this? Did you see it when you looked it up? Yeah, I, uh. I saw it when I was reading through uh, the walkthrough. Um, do you want me to tell you what it is, or do you want to ponder for a bit? Well, no, I should probably find it. You're not going to find it. What? I'm not going to find the you password? You already possess the password. It's a phone number. It is? Yes. Uh... Well, there's one of those. Those aren't his numbers, though. I'm assuming it would be his number. Uh... Is it that? Nine nine three seven five four eight six two. Oh damn it, hack guy! <laughs> Fuck! Aww. I don't even remember what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> three was it seven five four? I think so. Uh, I like that guy. You did it. God, yeah. At the cost of what? <laughs> I'm too deep. Yeah. I'm too... I'm too deep... This is the creepiest room of the game. I'm too deep in my research of the Black Page. I ended up inside the Mnemonic Abyss myself, but I cannot give up. I'm still scouring for clues as if I'm preparing to write another article. An article that nobody will read. I can't help myself, though. I want to organize my data before I perish. If somebody reads these notes and manages to escape from here, that would make everything worthwhile. A salon worker, a hotel employee, an internet cafe customer, three high school girls, and a doll maker. All incredibly yeah. important people to my society. Yes. The only connection between them is that they all saw the Black Page. Thus, I must conclude that the Black Page is what brings people here. With regard to the multiple deaths at the Kurumiya Hospital five years ago, it seems that all the victims were somehow connected to Riko Asagiri. Most of the victims were people quite familiar with her. It's also interesting that this continued even after her death. Her suicide was most, like, most likely the event that started it all. Locations within the Mnemonic Abyss seem to be composed from the memories of people trapped within. I confirm that my new locations huh, emerged after my arrival. Uh, when you first arrive, you are somewhat alive. Your memories are intact, and your body, in reality, is probably in a comatose state. As you become, as you come into contact with ghosts, you slowly become a ghost yourself. When the transformation is complete, you most likely die in real life. If I could find a way to get out of the mnemonic abyss while my body is still alive, I would probably be able to return to the real world. However, I've yet to find such method. Now let's talk about Riko Asagiri again. This is all conjecture from here. According to the nurse's diary, Riko committed suicide when she lost her will to live. Anger at her mother and her chat room friends for abandoning her spurred on her. 
the black spurred her on. Or spurred her on. It's spurred on her. Just spurred on her. <laughs> spurred all over that little girl. Yeah. The black page seems to be a manifestation of her rage and loneliness. One can almost sense her anger and fear of being betrayed. That is probably what led to the initial incident at the hospital. The expansion of the mnemonic abyss could represent the little girl's desire to escape the hospital at any cost. So how are we to combat this? I don't have an answer to that. However, I did find a short memory when I transported to Yuko Asagiri's room. It was her daughter's phone number. Ghost work... Ghosts will communicate with you through the phone. Perhaps you can communicate with them in some way. Perhaps you can persuade them. That's the only thing I could come up with in the time that I have left. And then Wait. there's Rico Asagiri's phone number. Alex. Ah. Makoto. Oh. You finally got here. <laughs> you should turn around. Stop looking at my robot. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? So now. I knew that you would get here eventually. <laughs> <I> Sounds like <laughs> all four Gregs. You here, so now. <laughs> I followed your research too. I think I understand it now. But what are you trying to tell me through your notes? Isn't it? Uh, what do you mean? Are you feeling bad right now? A little bit. <laughs> I've discussed this with you many times. But we can spread the news about a particular topic, and that can lead to change. That's what you always say. to stop Reiko and the expansion of the mnemonic abyss? No. Well, perhaps there is a way. But those things are not important anymore. Waste of a game. So now? <laughs> now I report on ghosts and ghost issues. Makoto. Uh <laughs> and all because of a broken phone. No, the reason I chuckled in the middle of that is because they're speaking like, well, quote unquote, perfect English, and then all yeah. of a sudden they say a name and they're like native Japanese people. Well, that sucks for him. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so the last chapter is going to be Rin again. And this is going to be one that we played through the first time, but there should be a different ending this time because we played through all of Makoto's stuff. Yeah. Also, correct me if I'm wrong now, but this opens the door for the next game to be like buddy ghost journalists. <laughs> like a buddy cop film, but journalists and ghosts. Yes. I think somebody needs to make a fan yeah. s- a sequel to this. <laughs> Johnny Deck and Super Sadow <laughs> added again. Super Sadow? <laughs> I couldn't think of anything better. <laughs> we can call him Specs. He's wearing glasses. Johnny Deck and Specs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we're right at the point where she figured out that who Kuroneko was. And, yeah. You know, everybody else knew it for days. We, we remember this. Specs knew. Yeah, Specs knew. Specs knew. Johnny, Johnny Deck skated over and knew it was up. Why would it start me with the flashlight off? Because maybe there's a cell phone key in here. 
here's a mouse on that phone. Yeah, see? Aww. And see, now she's seeing dead Makoto. Yeah. What? No, Makoto too? Okay. There's a thing on the floor. Yeah, I know. It's Makoto, still... you left a thing on the floor. Thanks. Phone number memo four. There is Rico's <laughs> number. Alright. Rico Asagiri's? So that's why I'm a coder. Let's give that girl a call. Well, do we need to give her a call or follow him first? I think we need to follow him first. Do what you like. <laughs> well, I mean, he's going somewhere. I'd like to know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, that Johnny Deck. Man about hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> she just falls down the stairs with grief. <laughs> it falls down the stairs with great interest. <laughs> Face first. She's playing skate. She's playing skate with herself. Yeah. In real life. Uh huh. God! <gasps> He's still a the... ghost! Yeah, I know! I thought he'd be alive if I came down here! <laughs> I thought by following I'd get rid of him. No, no <laughs> I have to let that sink in for a minute. No one kills Johnny Deck. But me. Yeah. Rin. Yeah, now it's a revenge story because she wanted to kill him for some reason. <laughs> Journalist hunter. <laughs> God. That's like my nightmare come another, true. Another good like game that nobody's making. Um, yeah, see, there she is. Do you want to call her now? Well, yeah, now I'm going to call her. I'm around the oh. corner. I've re <laughs> 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 I already got spoiled by being able to just pull this up whenever. 997-600. Yeah, 600-184. Your remote is struggling to... I know. ...to continue living. Hey. No? No. You know what? What? Oh, that figures. Part of me is actually... Oh, is there oh there's an, behind? another one. Ah! Who is that? I think that's the director. Okay. Oh, he he does a little like I'm gonna catch him move. <laughs> hey. <laughs> For oh. one, rude. Yeah. <laughs> For two, was what do you need? Totally it for? pointless. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're just doing this. I don't think we have to manually call her. Okay. Well. Something I remember not actually calling. Yeah, see, she's gonna do it in the cutscene. Oh, okay. I don't know why they gave us the phone, whatever, the number, or whatever. <laughs> so you were. Kuraneko. Hey, knock this shit off. I got your number now. Uh, uh. Will you listen? Listen. Listen to what I have to say. Oh my god. The hell. I didn't break our promise. I was on my way here that day. It's true. <laughs> but we'll I see. An and if you remember, uh -huh. when we I had this cutscene before, yeah. she said all this stuff, but without a phone. Yeah. So she probably, the ghost probably couldn't understand her at all. Uh -huh. This is the same thing, word for word, that she said before. Yeah. But this time it's on a phone. This time she's got a phone, yeah. Okay. Well, fine. 
But she's got a real like, what is this fresh bullshit look? <laughs> what is this fresh bullshit? <laughs> yeah, well look at her face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were saying that she was I'm thinking sorry. this situation is quote fresh bullshit. I'm so sorry. And what is this? <laughs> Who? Kur Kurineko? Kurineko, yeah. yeah she, oh, that is what you're thinking. She's oh, okay. got a sassy ass face going on there. Yeah. Yeah. It's only, <laughs> only a matter of time before I become part of this world. Yeah. See, I it's remember her me. saying all of this. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this might be a little extended. Uh huh. But I remember her saying at least the beginning part of that. And I don't think she had a phone. Right. Be sad anymore. I could just be I making shit up too. No, that's oh, okay. I think, I think you're right, especially about the first chunk. Yeah. And she I just think kind this of stood there now. and stared at us. Yeah. Which is not all that different from what's happening right now. Yeah, but the point is that she's supposed to be able to hear us now. Yeah. And I guess the phone thing works because phones were an important part of her life kind of thing. Like, everything happening in the Mnemonic Abyss uh -huh. is just, like, based on her experiences. So, I mean, it would stand to reason well, that phones work because... Well, pulled in. Yeah. Well, but she's the one that supposedly created it. It was her sorrow that created it. I guess. So, that's probably why phones work. Because remember how happy she was when her mom gave her the phone? Mm -hmm. What? I don't believe it. See, now you came to see me instead of, like, I'm sick of people lying to me. Oh, okay. Also, notice... This is a bunch easier this... Oh. Never mind. Get closer? Oh, oh no. Crap, no. <laughs> also, notice... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah... Ooh. I don't know how to avoid this! Okay, hurry up and don't believe it faster, I'm dying. Oh my god. Yeah, this is insane! I don't know how to avoid this! Yeah. Please give me my life- okay. I don't either. Oh my god! Jeez, come on! <laughs> come on, ghost! Rico, if you're so happy now, why the hell are you killing me? Well, I think now she's especially pissed. Well, no, like, I... In her... Well, I mean... If she has, like, her whole just world view, like... Before it was okay that she, like, tossed herself out window because everybody is shit. But now she's like, oh, god damn it! I didn't have to toss myself <laughs> out a goddamn window. Well, and yet I am destined to repeat this over and over in the afterlife. Thanks, Rin. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Please let this be her room. Thank God. Watch you have died right there. Yeah, well, no, I'm waiting to see if I just kick the bucket. I think I made it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way to avoid that. <gasps> Watch the same thing happen. <laughs> she didn't learn the first time. Although, I guess technically, this isn't the second time Rin is doing it. It's right. just extended. Well, <laughs> but see, the thing that always got me was that it also just showed the nurse actually getting to her in time. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? I don't know. This sounds like the intro to a PBS show. It does, yeah. But see, like, here are all the memories of the people she cared about and everything. Uh-huh. And there's her mom, I guess. Her mom looks better here. Yeah. 
But, like, even in this memory, it showed her falling again. Uh -huh. So what was up with it showing the nurse getting to her? Like, that just seems like the wrong thing to put there because she didn't. Like, even though we did the Makoto game, like, that's not going to change it. She died. Well. <laughs> maybe the nurse figuratively got to her. It was an emotional get to her. Whereas we emotionally pitched ourselves out the window with Well, her. yeah, I still don't think that <laughs> fits, though. I don't know. I know. Anyway, there's something after the credits like there was the first time. Yeah. But see, what's interesting is that we'll see that in this ending, you don't see the old woman surviving. Mm. Like, I mean, you do in the first... So when I first played this, I was like, oh, does that mean she didn't really survive? Yeah. But I think it's really just an extended thing of what we saw before. Right. The only difference is that Ring doesn't die in this one. Mm -hmm. That's the well, only thing that actually changes. We spin upside down while holding a 13-year-old child. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, I, mean, I mean, we look was, fine. There was no... <laughs> There was no uh, sack of flour hitting the concrete sound this time. No, so. not the. I mean, I guess we could technically just be going really slowly and hit like a sack of flour. Falling forever but, in the abyss. Yes. But I mean, I think as far as like canonical stuff goes. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I am sure everyone is concerned with the canon of Oh, Colin. come on! I'm just joking, <laughs> you're fine, go on. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> I, know, I get into no, the stories. I, I, know, I, I know, think as far as the real story goes, I'm pretty sure the old woman still survived. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure that wasn't, like, erased by playing... Right. Sada or, uh, Sadawa, Makoto's game. Uh-huh. So. Oh, that guy, Rico Knickerbocker. That was a person's name. My... <sighs> That's in Tokyo. For a moment, I thought only two people worked there. Yeah. Nicker and Bocker. Yeah. Bob Goad. Bob Goad. Head of Ooh, Europe head of business. Europe business. Yeah. And it's a Japanese guy. Well, he's all on top of that Europe business. He is. So... She's style! <laughs> <laughs> um, I... I was thinking about one of the things we had criticized at one point in this game was that it uh, it portrayed like flip phones and stuff kind of dating it quite a bit and yeah. it came out in 2010 which is when you would have already seen at least some smartphones Yeah. but how long was this game in production? Probably when it started production it oh, was predominantly that's, flip phones that's true there are production years yeah I Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Hmm. Oh, it's trying. Well. It's trying. So we were like in a coma mm -hmm. for a while and nobody <laughs> moved us. We just passed out in our room. Yeah, you kind of have to wonder like how long we were in a coma. Yeah. And I think she's in high school, what? so she wouldn't be, like, living on her own in a Isn't dorm I... or anything. Actually, really? that's not true. Mm -hmm. I think they, I think there could be a dorm for high school in Japan. So <sighs> she could very well just be in, like, a dorm room. Well, <clears throat> I mean, even in America, we have boarding schools. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know if it's more common in Japan or not. Yeah. The only experience I have with Japan is Persona 3 <laughs> and Persona 4, and we all we all know that's absolutely true. Yeah. Oh, she can save in real life now. That's oh goddamn! I had a scary dream, and now the cat's here. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. So she she does survive if you play through it a second time. God, her leg looks. That broken. was a hell of a DMT trip. Never again. <laughs> Her leg just looks broken to me right there. Yeah, it kind of does. Maybe she has a fake leg. Because she got hit real hard. That is true. By that truck. Yeah, I'm going to save this slot one. But yeah, that's calling. That's all of it. That's the real ending. Yeah. And We're I believe, do we get a new title screen now? We're super done. Oh no, this is the same one, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, though, if you go to... Uh, whoa! Oh, yeah, that's new. That stuff happens now. 
Desk Spookies? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Desk Spookies. Oh, yeah, and we have, like, all of this stuff now. We just unlocked, like, a bunch of, like... Yeah, can we go up and down? We can go up and down. Oh, yeah, pants so... action. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the point of this. I guess maybe they're showing off the graphics. I don't Aww. freaking know. But yeah, so I mean, you can go through just like, oh, it doesn't count that we read any of this. So we've missed some things. We we did miss some things. We didn't by any means get everything. Bonus images. Ooh, look uh, at all of them. Wow. Dude. See, I don't know how to unlock any of these. Yeah, see, there's that for some reason. Wow. And that's just the entire cast and the ghosts. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, like, all the cell phone backgrounds oh. or a lot of them anyway. Oh, look, there's the creepy face one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot we get this stuff. I don't know how to unlock most of the stuff in this game. Mm-hmm. Movies? Yeah, Can movies. we relive those cutscenes? We can. Oh, thank God. We didn't miss any. Uh, cell phone. Alright. We missed a few phone numbers. Yeah? That's interesting. Well, those we are... We missed one recording. Oh. And we missed some messages. Okay. And then, this is the password thing. Like, we we did not get a whole lot of... I mean, we yeah. missed, like, eight keys. So, overall, so, judging by how much stuff we got, what would you grade our playthrough? Oh, God. B minus, C well, plus, maybe? <laughs> yes. Well, we weren't going for completion. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. Hang on. Uh, uh, oh. oh. Sometimes the hat guy shows up even on the title screen when you leave I that. I more with him. Yeah. Or I don't know, maybe he's there as a side character. Yeah. Well, and to close it out, let's see if we got any more oh, letters. that's true. See Fingers crossed. See if it actually worked this time. Ooh, boy. <laughs> I what think you mean think? hat boy. Hat boy. <laughs> Come on. Uh, 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 hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, hey. Oh. Uh, cool. Five. I was waiting for another one. <laughs> I know. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Oh, the, you, we got that for completing it, I guess. Okay, all right. Oh, see, now, if this were on the Wii, I could probably email that to myself. And who wouldn't want to do that? Ah. That's Sadao, I think. Yeah, all up in your face. God, that one's creepy. Specs. Yeah, while I was trying to shit. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Our Aww. eyes met. I was happy. I want to see you. 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 I want to see now, you. Now, what's interesting is this is one that we got on our last playthrough. Oh, was this the first one we showed people? Was this one? I think so. Oh, I think this one might actually be the one from the bathroom. Okay. Because it zooms right in on her face. Well, yeah. So, I love this feature. Uh -huh. I curse everybody who reviewed this and didn't mention it. <laughs> I'm very... I'm still bitter about that. Oh. I don't think any professional reviewer who, like, had any say on Metacritic actually r mentioned that at all. Well. But, anyway, that was enjoyable. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. That yeah. was good. It's been a long time since I've played this. Uh-huh. So, and to any, everybody who stuck through all of that, what's it going to be, about 14 parts, I think? I thought Plus you were that bonus? Say, that was like, what, 14 people? <laughs> no, it was more than we that. We kept at least, like, 14. Yeah. yeah. It was about 14, I guess, and a half parts, because uh -huh. we had that bonus. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, guys, uh -huh. for watching that. That's, I mean, we enjoyed the hell out of doing this for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, we already have a couple ideas of what we're going to do next. And, oh, God, I'll just say that right now if we're going to do what I think we're going to do. So we'll be making making a new something awful thread when we 
get that ready. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. There's, we, there's, a, there's a couple strategies we can take on a this. A couple strategies. Like, I'm oh. out of breath thinking about all of them. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, but we have, we have some ideas. But yeah, that was calling. I don't know what you thought of it. Thought it was cheesy. Thought it was... Awesome. I, don't, I don't know. Awesome. I thought it was awesome. The I love this game. Of gaming. Yeah. Next gen. Next gen. <laughs> next gen games. Game um, of the year. <laughs> <laughs> game of every year. Retroactively. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but it was actually rumored that there was going to be a sequel to this. Oh, yeah. Uh, the you cre- mentioned that. Yeah. The creator of the game actually said that this was just one small part of that world that he created and he wanted to do another one. I think the game was much better received in Japan. Um, It is a very Japanese game, so I can definitely understand that. But regrettably, Hudson went out of business before that could happen. I think this was actually this and... What was that one game, the side-scrolling shadow game that I had... Oh, I know what you're talking about, but I have no idea. Yeah, what I can't remember was. what it's called. Those, I think, those were like two of the last Hudson games that came out. Um, that could yeah, be. what's up? I said that could be. Oh, yeah, I can't remember what that one was called, but anyway, <laughs> if you know what that was called, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how to wiki things. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, you want to close it for yeah, good? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, this is Pete and Amy again. And thank you for joining us through this whole thing. Yeah, thanks. So we will see you next time. Bye. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know where you're ending that. <laughs>